Kern and Curran Law is representing and advising over 400 restaurants, salons, bars, gyms, and other small businesses in their fight against the strict public health orders. Attorney Michael Curran joins us now to give an update. And first, I want to say good morning. Well, good morning to you, You know, KSI was first to pick up this story, this movement, really, and we sure appreciate the ongoing coverage for our clients. Thank you. Yeah, I believe when we started covering you, it was day one when you were beginning. You had a handful of clients, and, you know, we've had, of course, Dan Plant out with you. We've talked to several of the businesses that you represent um, and continue to. I would imagine, what is your phone like right now? Are you receiving calls from businesses on a, an hourly basis? Uh, we're getting about 12 to 20 calls, 15 to 20 calls a day, uh, and about the same number of emails. And we're seeing about 10 to 15 of the different restaurants and gyms and salons saying, hey, I want in. Uh, I want to exercise my constitutional rights. And and for me, I, I need to survive. I need to open my business or I'm not going to have a business to open up. Yeah, and currently, I mean, you're looking at more than 400 businesses that you are representing. Talk a little bit about the power in numbers and where you guys stand today. Sure. So, you know, we, we started in the beginning here in early December. We, we said this to our clients that this has to be a movement. There has to be power in numbers. And we've seen that continuously grow across the county, across the state, and even across the country. Uh, what's happened recently is uh, the mayor and uh, the governor apparently feel our constitutionally protected peaceful protest is not minding their uh, unsupported government edicts and they're not laws they're they're so-called public safety orders our clients are exercising their constitutionally protected rights to keep their business open and the problem with these orders are they're not supported by any science ali so it'd be one thing if we found that the uh, the breakouts or were happening in some of the restaurants and gym, gyms and the salons but we haven't seen anything like that we've seen one isolated positive test in 400 plus restaurants representing thousands of employees over the past six weeks so it's not the restaurants that are causing the problem and i know in speaking to a number of um restaurants that their fear is if they're doing a peaceful protest if they open up whatever the facts are here is that they worry about their abc license their liquor license is their main concern talk about how you guys have been addressing that concern sure so what the governor and the mayor did is they directed abc now understand that we're trying to enforce or they're trying to enforce a public sa safety order that is the venue of the Health and Safety Department, Wilma Wooten's department. But that's not what the mayor and governor used. They used peace officers, ABC, because they know our clients are more threatened by a potential restriction or revocation of their ABC license. So they said, threaten the ABC licenses. We wrote a letter to the ABC, we, we a preemptive letter to the director of the ABC, to the supervisor in San Marcos and in San Diego, and we said, our clients are exercising their constitutionally protected rights. You as sworn peace officers have a constitutional oath that you sworn to protect the, the constitution of the United States and of California, not the edicts of a misguided governor. And we expect you to follow your oath. And uh, so far we haven't heard back from them. We're hopeful that they are uh, giving that some real serious thought. We told them that it's illegal to act under color of authority and use not an ABC regulation, which our clients haven't violated, but a little known part of the business and profession code that talks about uh, keeping a disorderly house or protecting the public morals, health, safety, welfare. It's a catch all phrase. They, we were tipped off that they intend to use and it really doesn't apply. And like I say, it, we believe it to be illegal and unconstitutional under color of authority without actual law support. I would imagine in the coming weeks, you'll continue to fight for those businesses, once again, representing them. Um, and of course, like you say, businesses can call you. If they have questions, they can email you. And we are going to continue to check in with you, to go step by step um, with this, with you and the businesses that are, of course, um, just trying to survive right now. You know, our, our clients really appreciate KUSI support. It's a we, we know we're on the right side of right. And like I say, our clients have no choice here. This is purely an exercise in survival for them. They've had a really rough year. So thank you, Ellie. Michael Curran, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate your time. And like I said, we'll continue to follow it. Um, I can't believe how much it has grown in the past month. Thank you. All right.